Shopify for small businesses. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you if Shopify is a good e-commerce platform for small businesses to get started and everything you need to know about the Shopify platform. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to know is how do you get started with Shopify? Well, you're just going to go on to your new tab. You're going to type in shopify.com and you can go on to the link in the description box down below, which will lead you to this page and and you can just click on start free trial over here and get started with your free trial for 14 days or two weeks now shopify is not available for free so you're gonna have to pay to get started with shopify after your free trial and as a small business that might be a difficult decision for you to make but the basic version of shopify only starts at 30 dollars, which i think is pretty affordable even for a small business because i started my scrunchie business last year and i started with the basic version of shopify i did later on up Upgrade to the Shopify version, but that is something that is totally up to you. Well, how do you get started? Okay, so once you have created your account, this is going to be your basic dashboard. And you can see on your left, you have your navigation panel. At the bottom, you have your settings. And then on the right, you have your account and account settings and stores. So you can create multiple stores from one account as well, which I find to be a very useful feature. Because when I started my scrunchie business, I did start like an accessory business at the side as well. And I used a separate store for that, although that closed up but still it was a good journey for me to be able to create two different stores from one account so for $30 you can create multiple stores on Shopify well how do you get started as a small business on Shopify well the first thing is that you need to go onto the product section and then you need to upload your products and I'll show you guys that in a minute but before I show you guys how you add your products I'm going to show you guys one of the best features that I love using about Shopify that you are going to find very helpful as well as a small business is the analytics feature so if you click on analytics over here this is going to be your analytics dashboard and this is all good but if you actually go into the report section you're going to be able to get detailed reports on sales so you can see sales over time sales by product sales by product variation vendor discount traffic refer building location all of that stuff and the most important in all of these reports I find to be the behavior report. So if you go onto the behavior section, you can find many different reports on what kind of people are viewing your products, what people are purchasing them, how often are people looking at them, and all of those detailed analytics are present within the behavior section. And as a small business, you're easily going to be able to change your marketing strategy accordingly once you monitor the customer behavior from this report and this has really helped me optimize my scrunchy business as well because as I said I also opened up an accessory business but I realized that scrunchies were more popular I was getting more traffic on the scrunchie website or store as I was getting in comparison to the accessory one and these reports actually were the reason that I closed that up and focused on the scrunchie business instead now after that, how do you really go on about creating your online store? Well, you're just going to click on uh, online store on the left over here and you can see you have your themes, blog posts, pages, navigation and preferences. Now, uh, a simple way to start is go into the navigation first. And now I have these menu items. So you're going to click on main menu over here. And then I'm just going to delete these uh, menu items that I have present already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add new menu items. So it could be shop now and I could add that over here. So whatever kind of um, products that you're selling or you can instead of adding like directly all products, you can click on collections and then you can add all collections and you're just gonna add that over here. So once people are led to the collections, they can choose what collection they want from. And then you can add another menu item called maybe contact us like this. And then you can link the page of contact us over here. We're just gonna add that over here. And then you're just gonna click on save menu. So I have these three basic menu items linked for my online store. And uh, make sure you do this from over here because on the actual e-commerce editor, you're not gonna be able to edit the menu items. So you're gonna have to come back onto your dashboard and edit those from here. Now, after that, if you go onto your pages section, you can add as many pages if you want. So if you want to illustrate your work or if you have like a business motto, if there's any information about 
about your business that you would like to convey, uh, like your journey or anything like that, you can click on add page over here and add all the information you want and link that into your navigation panel. And below that you have your preferences. So any kind of social media sharing, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, customer privacy, all of that stuff you can find over here for your e-commerce front. Now, moving on to the more important part is your actual theme. So you can scroll down, click on theme, scroll down and go into the theme library, click on explore free themes over here. And then you can customize any of these free themes. And as a small business, you don't need to waste time on finding someone to code your website for you. You can just use any of these sample themes. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started with one to show you guys how easy and simple it is to get started with Shopify and make sure you also get started with Shopify with the link in the description box down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick out a theme that I like. So once you have picked out the theme that you want, you're just going to click on customize over here and we're going to get started with customizing our theme. So this is like the basic empty theme that I have. I'm going to just click on these little sections and I'm going to remove these sections because I really don't need them. And I want to keep this as simple as possible because you don't want to overcomplicate your initial e-commerce store because you're going to get all confused and it's going to be all difficult for you to manage. So that is why I recommend to keep it simple. But I'm going to click on add section over here. And the basic section that I want on the top of my store is I like to add like an image with text and I'm going to move this up from these three dots, you can move and uh, drag sections up and down. So this is going to be my first section and I am going to select an image. So let's say I'm just going to select like a, I'm going to go into the free images section and I'm going to click on shop local. I'm just going to add this and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on select and I'm going to close this up the image section and now I'm going to change the heading. So the heading is going to be like by organic cotton and then i'm going to write like a description about the product so whatever description you might want to add for your business accordingly so once i have done that i'm just going to go back and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to customize the pages that i created so not only this is like my home page but after my home page you have your product so i'm just going to click on products over here and you can see i haven't added like a products page directly but i have my shop now page so i'm going to click on my shop now page and then i have my catalog so i have my new year's gigs or anything like that i, I created this collection previously and then i have my contact us page and you can customize those as well but what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the shop now page and i'm going to click on all so i want all of my collections to be present over here and now i'm just going to click on save over here and i'm going to show you guys how to actually start adding your products so i'm just going to click on exit i'm going to click on the products over here and i'm just going to click on all products and then i'm just going to click on add product over here and then i'm just going to click on maybe uh, the title might be like black tea and then you can add a description then i'm going to click this as a active product and i'm going to scroll down and add collections and i have two collections over here so you can add more collections as you go but i'm just going to add this to the new year's gigs collection and then i'm going to add a price and then you can choose to charge tax another feature that i find really helpful is the cost per item so if i'm charging four dollars but this item is costing me two dollars so i have a 50 percent profit margin and i get a two dollar profit and this is actually very helpful with larger figures because when you're running your business bookkeeping gets very difficult and this is going to really help you simplify your profits and how much profit ratio you actually have with each individual sale then you have your skus if you have sku numbers you can but as a small business i never did so i usually skip that part and added the quantity so i have like 44 pieces of this and i'm just going to scroll down this is the physical product if it's a heavy item you can choose to add weight if it's like light clothing you really don't need to add weight but then you're just going to click on save over here and now i have my first product ready for my website so if i click on my online store over here you can see right now i'm just going to click on my online store over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down, click on my actions, and now I'm just going to click on publish over here. And I already have another one published, so I'm going to get that replaced into this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on actions, I'm going to click on rename, and I can just rename the template if I want. But to rename my online store, I'm going to click on settings at the bottom left over here. I'm going to go on to basic information in the store details. I'm going to click on edit, and then I'm going to click on to or 
organics cotton so that's the store name that i want and i'm just going to click on save over here and now if i click on my shopify link you can see this is my website if i click on my shop now section you see my product catalog so i have like one of these collections so i'm just going to open that up and then you have like a black tea that i have added I didn't add any image so yeah it was four dollars like this and i can just add it to my cart so this is how easy it is to get started with shopify even as a small business so make sure to click that link in the description to get started with your 14 day free trial on shopify and hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video